What is up guys? It's your boy King Shibi. Welcome back to Shingle Gaming. Well, by, as you guys might have known, we are in June and guess what? Clash of Clans decided to, you know what? Let's nerf some troops and one of the major ones is the one and only troop favorite which is the Root Rider but that's not all that is being nerfed or buffed in this balance update. In about like 5 to 10 minutes there's gonna be a balance update in your game right now because there's a currently a maintenance brain going on. So to dumb it down for everybody I will be showing off what's coming into the game from Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 15 because I know some people don't care about some Town Hall 15s, some Town Hall 10s so you know what you can skip ahead a little bit but I will be talking about whatever is coming into the game and how this thing is going to affect the game at all. So let's get right into it. So here we have, oh first of all, first of all, before we start, I would like to thank Clash Ninja for making this big list so it is much more readable and understandable and it's, you know, easy to read for people who does not want to read big lines of balance updates, especially me because I'm not a reader. So I like to just look at images and see, okay, minus 6% damage uh, debuffed. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So thank you so much for Clash Ninja and I use his site, which is truly amazing. You know, because who knows what what I might need to upgrade stuff, you know. So let's get right back into the nerfs and the buffs that are upcoming in the near future. Which is practically two minutes. So first of all, we have the Town Hall 10. The three defenses that are getting a nerf on Town Hall 10 are the Wizard Tower, Archer Tower, as well as the Expo. The, the buffs, or should I say the nerfs, on Town Hall 10 are not super crazy. And either the buffs are not super crazy as well because there's only one troop that is getting a buff, which is the bowler. So Town Hall 10 has been limited, buffed slash nerfed at the very same time. But uh, on the other hand, like Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 15, they have been severely nerfed slash buffed a little bit. As you can see on the Town Hall 10, uh, HP for the Wizard Tower has been reduced from 1680 to 1600. And then you have the Archer Tower which have gone down by 1% and 3% into their DPS. So again, Archer Towers were usually faster type of defenses, which used to do a little bit of damage, but now they're being slowed down teeny tiny bit. So that's what you're going to see. And next up we have the Expo, which is again going to be nerfed a little bit because it's going, it's again a faster type of defense, does not deal too much damage, is going to be dealing a little bit less damage because it's being slowed down a little bit more. It is going from 90 DPS to 85 DPS. Again, DPS means damage per second, if you guys didn't know already. For the buffs in Town Hall 10, we have the bowler at level 2 only. Only level 2 bowlers will have a little bit uh, DPS increase as well as a little bit of uh, HP increase because these defenses are already going down in HP. So attacking side of Town Hall 10 will be you know, you will be seeing a little bit more successful attacks on Town Hall 10. Now we move on to Town Hall 11, which we have lots and lots of defenses getting big, big nerf. And we have more and more amounts of troops that are getting big, big buffs. So first of all, we'll talk about the nerfs because we have crazy amounts of nerfs on here. First of all, we have the Wizard Tower. We're also getting the Wizard Tower nerf here, which is the same amount as the Town Hall 10, which is the minus 5%. But the major defenses, which are the Eagle Artillery, as well as the Inferno Towers are getting big nerf, like seriously, seriously big nerf. Because level one Eagle Artillery will have damage per hit decreased from 275 to 225, which is almost 20% of damage reduced. At level two, it will be almost 25%, which is 325 to 250. Then after the Eagle Artillery, we have the Inferno Towers, which are also getting a big, big nerf, whether it's a multi Inferno Tower or a singular multi, sorry, singular Inferno Tower. At level four, we are getting to see 10% debuff in damage per second on the multi Inferno Tower. At level five, we are seeing 17%, which is super crazy because like, oh my God, Town Hall 11 isn't even that hard. And I could say a lot of, uh, new players or should I say old players can easily 3 star a th11 with the new equipments So deep uh, a little bit of nerf or should I say debuff on the defenses it is making the defense way too weak because I don't know what's coming 
So this looks like there might be something great coming for the defenses in the near future because these nerfs are super, super crazy. Because I, we have already seen that attacks have been like too high for each and every town hall since TH16 came out. Or should I say since equipment came out, attack percentage or attacks being 100% has been high. And the same way DPS reduced on the Archer Towers, X bows, as well as the cannons. But the percentage has been decreased quite a lot. As you can see, 15% on the Archer Tower, 14% on the X bow, and 9% on the cannon. A huge, huge nerf. On the buff side of TH11, we will be seeing Hog Riders, Bowlers, Valkyrie, Golem, as well as Witches that are getting a big, big buff. A big big buff are only two people which is the bowler as well as the witch because bowler was already getting a nerf at town hall 10 and now he will be getting a buff at th11 as well for about at least 10 percent hp increase and five percent dps increase so that is around like seven percent dps increase since town hall 10 and for the queen she is going to be getting 10 percent of hp increase almost and three percent of dps increase as well golem on the other hand isn't changing by a lot because again one percent of hp does not matter on golem anyways because he's not gonna get targeted by a single inferno and it's not gonna matter too much but as you can see the attacking side on the town hall 11 side is going to be massively massively overpowered now we move on to th12 again a place where things are getting nerfed like freaking crazy because these defenses are not looking good but troops of offensive side is looking super super good me on the other hand who have been who has a town hall 10 and have been rocking a lalo strategy and it has been quite easy since i've been using a lalo strategy because i usually don't fail and with these nerfs i for sure ain't gonna fail because as you can see the eagle artillery is getting a, a 27 debuff 27 percent debuff on the damage per hit she, it, uh, the eagle artillery shoots about three shots uh, within like five to ten seconds so within that three shots the eagle artillery would be only doing a damage of 275 which is quite a lot less than it used to be it used to be 375 and on the multi inferno tower which is usually the part which makes me fail the lalos is get also getting a nerf which is 21 percent of multi art uh, multi inferno tower debuff so my balloons would be able to stay a little bit longer and the life gem that I used to use is going to help me a lot because HP is the least of my differences. I used to usually tackle those Inferno Towers with my Queen or King or even when, I, when my balloons are in the ability. But now I usually, I can maybe like preserve my ability for a little bit longer and can have a much, much more easier way with it. For the Inferno Tower or single Inferno Tower, it ain't, it also getting a kind of like a big, big nerf because it is going from 70 to 1800 to 55 to 1600, which is 11% debuff. And all the Giga Teslas are also getting a big, big debuff, which is in total of about like 50 to 60% debuff. Because as you can see, level one is getting a 17%, level two, 14%, level three, as well as level four, five, almost 14% as well. In total, 50% of Giga Tesla damage has been reduced. So like, maybe maybe my balloons will survive even when they are inside that you know a giga tesla when it, when the town hall falls down and half of the troops will not be taking the same amount of damage and when you have healers behind it or even a heal spell it's going to be very very easy and as you can see things uh, like uh, expo cannons and archer towers also getting a debuff they will also be dealing a lot less damage so everything would be able to stay alive for a little bit longer or should i say the attackers would be rather easier than it used to be on the buff side we have the hogs the bowlers the valkyries the golem as well as the witches witches golem valkyries they all already have the buff from th11 the bowler had since th10 so like i think they're trying to buff up the bowler strategy should i say because back in the days, people people have actually stopped using the Golem Bowler Witch strategy, which used to be meta back in the days. So I think they're trying to bring back those strategies. And with this strategy, uh, Bat Spell would also be quite powerful because things will not die fast enough because the DPS has been increased on Archer Towers, X Bows, Wizard Towers, Eagle Artillery. So if you can preserve them for a little bit longer, the Bat Spells would be also going super crazy 
and maybe even you know super bowlers if people want to use those uh, super bowler strategies would be also amazing or uh, should i say you know there's a hog rider uh, buff as well so using like hybrid strategies will be also amazing go which is also going to be amazing so lots and lots of strategies are easily getting a simple buff by just nerfing out these defenses and a little bit uh, buff on the uh, main troops as well as you can see the major buff on the uh, troop side was the bowler as well as the witch and a little bit on the golem as well now we move on to the th13 side th13 is also getting a super crazy uh, nerf as well as buff troops on the other hand the witch on this uh, th13 is definitely not getting any buff this time because it is already overpowered and if you try to use a super witch on this side it will be super crazy as well now as you can see uh, the visitors is like you know crazy crazy getting debuffs on each and every town hall uh, then we have the eagle artillery which is also getting the uh, nerf the inferno towers are also like in the uh, big getting nerfed in meta i think uh, again so like uh, attacks are being super buffed at the moment so i think the people what uh, coc is trying to do is take people's heads away from the root riders and nerf every defense and buff each and every troop that can be used and make it so like okay yeah it doesn't matter what i use uh, it's going to be three star anyways <laughs> i don't know what's happening because these nerfs are super crazy 25 percent dps decrease on the multi inferno tower 10 percent on the single inferno tower and again dps reduced on the uh, giga tesla on the town hall is going to be around uh, 50 percent as well and damage uh, death damage reduced when the giga tesla pops up is going to be super crazy as well around like uh, 70 70 percent as well the archer tower is also getting nerf here the expos are getting a nerf here and the cannons this time as well so this is like super this isn't, isn't like super crazy kind of nerf but if you think about like from th10 things are getting nerfed again and again and again in the future the thing is practically in the inferno towers is turning into a multi archer tower you would think like because it, it does seem like things are getting nerfed way way too much next up we have the th14 again the things are not too different here you can see the wizard towers the eagle artilleries the inferno towers and the archers as well as the expo the one thing that you don't see is the cannon this time and the tube buff has been the elim almost eliminated here but the main tube that is getting a buff again the bowler and the golems i think the bowler is definitely making a comeback whether it might be a super bowler or a normal bowler they both are getting a buff here you know you can say that yeah okay the, but the buff can only be seen on the normal bowler but again these nerfs you can see that super bowlers already have decent amount of hp with a little bit of heal spells and rage spell they can survive for a way way longer because these defense won't be dealing as much as damage as they used to be so again super crazy amount of nerfs as you can see 20 percent on the multi inferno tower 11 percent on the eagle artillery uh, 50 percent almost on the giga uh, giga inferno on the town hall 14 and dps also around like 20 percent as well again archer towers and expos are also getting a simple bit of uh, nerf here i think they're going to be more useless uh, before they used to be because archer towers could not even kill a level one barbarian while they were a maxed archer tower you know so they're going to be more and more useless now now we're going to move to the main topic of the video which is town hall 15s and here we go here we have the town hall 15 as well as the tier 16 where the major nerfs are happening i mean people do care about the major nerfs here rather than the th 11s i mean some people do care about normal nerfs here as well but i think people care more about the root riders because everybody has been spamming these root riders since they came out and it doesn't matter who the attacker is people are almost getting like 80 to 90 95 percent of time people are getting a three star no matter type of base unless you're attacking a pro base it's going to be really really hard to you know tackle that three star so again the root rider are getting a crazy nerf but uh, again uh, is that a really crazy nerf if the defenses are also getting a nerf because the troops got nerf and the defenses also got a nerf so there might be a chance that you know the nerf on both these things 
will equalize themselves and so root riders are not actually nerfed you know could be you know i still haven't tried out the uh, update that has came out i will be trying at, trying that out in just a second as soon as the uh, debuff happens which is in like within a minute or two but on the other hand we have the eagle artillery which is also getting a 5% debuff uh multi inferno tower 9% 4% single inferno tower and here we have the 50-50% on both the levels and 2-5% to on the HP. HP has been the main part of the uh, root riders but I think DPS decreasing is going to be really really helpful because people are going to pair up the root riders with much more useful troops which is going to be probably the bowler as, as well as the witches because people have been just spamming root riders, valkyries to you know find out that fast speed to clear out bases faster but now that the dps has decreased i think that's gonna help make people plan out a little bit of attack and then use those root riders as a tank rather than just an attack type of troop and same for the town hall 16 you can see root riders getting 50 percent dps decrease and the hp is seven percent this time and Town Hall 15, we're getting a buff on troops, which is the bowler and the witches. But Town Hall 16 is getting no buff on any troops whatsoever. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the debuff that is happening in the game right now. And what kind of strategies will you be developing on whatever kind of Town Hall. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what? Hit that like button. And if you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button, you know, because why not? It's free. It's easy. And you just have to click one button and if you want to you know not miss out any uh, of these videos on this channel hit that notification bell as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace out and bye bye